Recently, the links between migrant reintegration and sustainable development have received greater recognition. Supporting the idea that sustainable development can positively impact reintegration opportunities and vice versa. When examining how we can leverage this positive mutual impact, three elements stand out. Project and program design and implementation, partnerships and coordination, perceptions of reintegration by countries of origin, host countries, donors and other actors. Reintegration programs can contribute to the broader development of communities that receive returnees when they address the local development needs. They contribute to social cohesion between returnees and their communities. And when the political leadership shares program goals and adopts migrant-sensitive legislations and practices. Conversely, development programs can contribute to reintegration outcomes when they include returnees as part of the target group or focus their activities in areas prone to migration and return. Partnerships and coordination between NGOs, civil society organizations, regional or national governments, key stakeholders and UN agencies can also help maximize synergies, optimize resources, and foster the reintegration and sustainable development nexus. Establishing synergies, however, requires a thorough assessment and mapping of relevant actors in the target area and the programs they're developing. Stakeholders should also define the scope of synergies based on their respective objectives, comparative advantages, and the gaps they could fill. Finally, all actors must consider reintegration a comprehensive and long-term process, requiring planning, programming, and adequate resources. With that perspective in mind, reintegration can contribute to sustainable development and vice versa. How can stakeholders design and implement programs that embed reintegration and development concerns? How can they foster partnerships towards increased cooperation? What actions and decisions can countries of origin, host countries, and donors take to maximize the positive mutual impact of sustainable development and reintegration? Read the full paper released by the EU IOM Knowledge Management Hub to learn more.